Hello, hello, and welcome back. We are here with month two of Amy's Progress. And so I just want to first find out from you, Amy, uh, how do you feel? Are you nervous to be here today? Are you excited? What are you expecting? I'm a little nervous because I actually missed boot camp for four weeks and um, due to a vacation and due to a hiatus of boot camp. But I'm ready to get back and started and I appreciate everybody who has asked where I've been and because it got me back in here even though it's a little scary. So I really appreciate the support. So what has been the number one thing in the four weeks that um, you feel has been your biggest obstacle to overcome? Um, it's definitely the food um, and I think that's Joy talks about four pillars and they're so important and once one starts going it's like dominoes and the other ones start falling and um, not having the boot camp I didn't get out and then the mindset goes and then the food goes and that is so essential they are interconnected so did it completely go or did it just were there spouts where you were on top of your game and then you kept crashed and then you went back up it didn't completely go there is so much progress in this okay. um it's areas of isolation of problems rather than the whole whole kitten caboodle okay I so guess. good she didn't throw <laughs> the whole thing out and destroy all this work that we're putting it together right now so let's go ahead and see a lot of times with the clients it's a lot worse in their heads than in reality because once you start this thing snowballs and it starts to snowball and there's a lot of things you know about the four pillars you know how important they are so there's a lot of things that really has gotten this progress machine going so it doesn't just stop unless you completely throw it out so since you didn't I'm expecting to see some pretty decent results so let's see tell you what go go ahead and step up the last time you were here it was at 359 the weight was at 359 okay So the weight stayed the same um, pretty much and then body fat percentage stayed the same. But what's great, go ahead and step down because what's great is I just took her measurements before she got on the scale. Although her weight and body fat stayed the same, she just lost 15 inches. Whoa. <laughs> so that's what I'm talking about. Yes, because of uh, the fact that you've let a few of the pillars go, it showed by your weight and body comp not moving, but 15 inches is still a lot to be proud of and four of the inches was in your stomach so and what i'd like to say about that is um because of your support i didn't quit you know That's i right. came back and i could have not come back and faced whatever the scale right. or the measurements were going to say and then it wouldn't have been the same and it wouldn't have been 15 inches i would have been 30 pounds heavier That's right. and, um, so please just don't quit i mean even when you think it's not as good just keep on coming back you yes know? absolutely so right now it's my job to just punch you even harder and say come on amy we're gonna do this baby and we're gonna get you back on track with mindset we're gonna get you back on track with eating we're gonna get you back on track with fitness and we're gonna get you back on track with supplements because right now you see that you have started something you can't stop no matter how much you try to do sabotage it or the subconscious tries to sabotage it you can't you're on a winning streak baby you're a winner yep till next time are you a winner or a whiner winners choose to be fit whiners try not to quit